Hey guys, in this video we will be using Easy to Boot to install Windows XP from a USB flash drive. I heard about this program on our Retro PC Gaming Facebook group and there are many tools out there that let you boot from a USB flash drive, but installing Windows XP is a little bit more difficult as the installation program. It will reboot and then look for the installation CD, but also because of SATA storage drivers that you either have to slipstream or load from a floppy drive. Now the reason I'm personally interested in this is not so much because I don't want to use optical drives, I actually got heaps of them, but because I have a lot of motherboards with via chipsets and they have uh, SATA ports that work okay for most part, but they don't support booting from a SATA optical drive. So in the past, I either switched to an ID optical drive or I used a PCI SATA controller from Silicon Image, for example. But with easy to boot, I can now stick with the via onboard controllers and have a neater looking build. So the first thing we're doing is going to the easytoboot.com website and then under downloads, we want to download this file here that includes the driver pack mass storage. So just click on it and download it to your desktop. And then we have the file. So we're just gonna double click on it and confirm this. And then we're just gonna install it onto the desktop. And straight after the installation, it pops up with this menu here. We first select the USB flash drive. In my case, it's a 32 gig from Lexa. Make sure you choose the right language and then click on this button, make a easy to boot drive. Now this will take a while. There's a confirmation option and this, yeah, this is gonna take a while. So you just have to be a little bit patient. Okay, that's all done. Let's press a key and we can close this program. And next we're gonna to navigate to our USB flash drive. It now has the name E2B for easy to boot. We go into the ISO subfolder, then into Windows, then into XP, and then we grab our um, ISO files. I've got uh, two versions, but I'm gonna use the one that is automated uh, and has an answer file. And we'll just copy that onto our USB flash drive. Okay, and that's all ready to go. So we're gonna eject our USB, and then we're gonna stick it into our retro gaming PC and I'll show you uh, what the process is like. Okay, here we go. So I'm just gonna press F8 to enter the boot menu. This is an Athlon 64 4000 plus and it's got that via chipset. Um, we can see the two drives here. We've got a Western digital hard drive and a SATA optical drive. And here we're just gonna choose the uh, first option to boot from the USB flash drive. And there we go, we wanna install Windows, so we choose option three. And here, if we look carefully at the top, we can see install XP, there's step one and there's step two, and that is important. We do step one first. Here we choose the ISO, I'm gonna go with number one. And here we just have to confirm everything. So it'll ask us for a few things. Here we're just gonna go with the default, so we just press enter and it's gonna try to identify the SATA controller. There's an error here, but just press enter uh, to proceed. Okay, here we press enter again, and it's gonna load the ISO image into the memory. And now uh, it's just doing a countdown for a few seconds, and then it will uh, proceed with the standard Windows XP option now here. Do not press F6 to load a SATA driver. That's usually what you have to do, but uh, easy to boot will take care of that with the um, SATA storage controller driver pack. And here we have all our drives. We can now see that the via RAID controller got picked up. I'm just gonna uh, delete the first partition and we're gonna install Windows XP into the blank uh, raw hard drive. So this is almost done and Windows XP, the installation will now uh, restart the computer. And it's important that we uh, go back into booting for them from the USB flash drive and not from the hard drive. Otherwise it won't work. So I'm uh, tapping F8 to trigger the boot menu, uh, boot menu once again. And uh, then we should be back in the easy to boot uh, program. So yes, at this point, do not boot from the hard drive. We have to boot into the USB flash drive again. And we now go back into Windows install menu, but instead of choosing step one, we're choosing step two, the one with more than 512 megabyte of system memory. 
So once again, we choose the ISO, which was the first one. And it loads the ISO back into system RAM. And this is the final stage of the Windows XP installation. After this, there will be one more reboot and then we can boot uh, from the hard drive directly. We don't have to boot from the flash drive anymore. And the very last bit is just a bit of a cleanup. Just say yes to this prompt and it will uh, remove a few files, but otherwise uh, we're done. So that's how you install Windows XP from a USB flash drive with the easy to boot project. Any questions or comments, leave them down below, please. Always eager to hear from you. And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this short tutorial, uh, hit the like uh, button, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and I shall see you soon with another one.